Hello and welcome to I Nurture video. In this video, we'll discuss about analog communication and digital communication. After watching this video, you will be able to understand the basics of communication, understand what is radio communication, differentiate between types of signals, understand what is analog communication, what is digital communication. Discuss steps involved in digital communication, compare analog communication and digital communication. Before understanding what is analog and digital communication, let us first understand what is communication. Communication deals with the principle of transferring data reliably from one place to the other. Data can be voice, video or codes. It involves transmission, reception and processing of information between the source and the destination. Let's see how this process takes place. As we know, communication deals in transferring data from one place to the other. Now let's see how this process takes place. Source. The source of a data could be human voice, data storage device, CD, video, etc. This source of data is transmitted from the source to the destination in the form of signals. Transmitter. A transmitter converts source data into suitable form of transmission through signal processing. Data form depends on the channel. Channel. Is the it is the physical medium used to send the signal. A medium where signal propagates till it reaches to the receiver. A physical medium can be wired or wireless. The important limitation of a physical channel is the noise. Noise is the undesired random signal that corrupts the original signal and degrades it. Receiver. At this point, the message is extracted from the received signals. Let's understand this by an example. Speech signal at transmitter is converted into electromagnetic waves to travel from over the channel from one user to the other. Once the electromagnetic waves are received properly, the receiver converts it back to the speech form. Destination. Finally, the message reaches the end user. Let's see what is radio communication. Radio communication refers to the wireless communication wherein wires are not used between the transmitter and the receiver to send or receive signals. Radio communication relies on the special type of radiation known as radio waves. Radio waves are electromagnetic waves that is a form of energy obtained from a combination of electrical and magnetic effects of electric currents. Radio waves travel with the velocity of light waves which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. You cannot see such radio waves. As we know, you have understood what is radio communication. Now. Let's look at the type of radio communication. Radio communication can be of two types. First, the analog communication and second, the digital communication. The first part that is analog communication refers to the process of transmitting voice, image, video, information through a continuous signal. And analog communication, analog signals are used. Analog signal is a continuous signal where the signal varies in amplitude in proportion to the variable. This kind of communication is mostly used for short distances due to the lower cost. It is used in small systems where multiplex digital transmission is not needed. Analog communication is used in communication satellites, electronic devices like telephone, television, radio and computer. In 3G communication and also in fiber optic communication, analog communication is used. The greatest technical problem with analog communication system is the noise noise that comes from any part of the system the modulator the transmitter the communication link the receiver or the demodulator can corrupt the signal and analog system do not offer opportunities to identify the corrupted signal in addition to this it cannot be used in the following cases when a signal has high signal to noise ratio when source linearity cannot be achieved when long distance communication has to be made when high output systems are used the term data is commonly used in digital communication. Data in any form of information that has been put into digital form so that it can be handled by digital systems. Data is measured as a bit. Digital communication refers to the process of data transmission in the form of digital bit stream from one point to the other or from one point to multiple points. In this case, data is signified as an electromagnetic signal. Let's now understand the steps involved in digital communication. In the first step, the digital information transmitted is divided into small packets as discrete messages. It ensures detecting errors and correcting them at early stages. In the second step, the information codec equipment codes the information into binary bytes, that is, in the order of zeros and ones. In the third step, 
the channel encoder translates the sequences of zeros and ones to an alternate sequence of zeros and ones, resulting in reliable and efficient data transfer. In the fourth step, modulator receives the sequences of zeros and ones and translates them into electrical waveforms. In the fifth step, at the destination, the demodulator translates the electrical waveforms to sequences of zeros and ones. Finally, the channel decoder converts the sequences of zeros and ones to the original sequence of zeros and ones. It also rectifies any error and performs clock recovery. At the destination, decoder converts the sequences of zeros and ones into symbols. A digital communication system offers many advantages to the user that cannot be achieved with an analog system. The transmission quality in a digital communication system is very high and is almost independent of the distance between the source and the destination. The capacity of the transmission system can be increased. It is used in newer type systems of transmission media which such as optical fibers and waveguides. Digital communication has disadvantages too. It requires a larger bandwidth and it is very difficult to gradually change from over to analog to digital transmission. Now, finally, let's compare analog and digital communication. In analog communication, signal is continuous, whereas in digital communication, signal is discrete. Analog signals are less tolerant to noise, whereas digital signals are more tolerant towards noise. Analog communication requires smaller bandwidth, whereas digital communication requires a larger bandwidth. Analog components are very expensive, whereas digital circuits are inexpensive. Let's have a quick recap of what we discussed. Communication deals with the principle of transferring data reliably from one place to the other. Radio communication can be of two types, analog communication and digital communication. Analog communication refers to the process of transmitting voice image or video information through an analog signal. Digital communication refers to the process of data transmission in the form of digital byte stream from one point to the other or from one point to multiple points. Thank you for watching the video.